Welcome back to our study in the book of Psalms. Glad to have you with us today. We are already to Psalm 67. We have entitled this Psalm, Lord, Have Mercy. Right out of the blocks in the first verse is a plea and a cry to our God for mercy, and then other things will follow. This is the outline of the book of Psalms. It is taken from the Hebrew Bible. They have five books broken out this way that make up the book of Psalms, and it is the National Songbook of Israel. If you would like a hard copy of this lesson emailed to you, uh, just write me back. I'll be glad to, to do that for you. It's free. And let's get into the introduction and then into the psalm. We do not know who wrote this psalm. There is no name on it, so we will not speculate probably David, but that I would never say that it was written by him. We do know it is written, it has musical instructions given to the chief musician. And we don't have his name with this, but there were three possibilities. The, the most prolific was Asaph, and so it was probably him. We know it was to a chief musician. Their job, all three of them are, were Levites, and their job their, and their entire family down through the generations was the assignment of the temple worship. So they just did not play instruments, but they sang. They knew how to orchestrate, and they knew drama. They knew a lot of things, and they would put the psalms to music uh, for worship. Also in the instructions in psalm, it says upon Niganoth, and that means to play on a stringed instrument. And here are some illustrations of some of the stringed instruments that get played. It does not designate how many strings. That's what it usually says. Um, the name of the instrument would mean eight strings, 10 strings, four, six, usually always an even number. And it also says it's a psalm a psalm is a song. Here's the outline we'll use, mercy and blessing, and just the first verse, praise and song, verses 2 through 5, and then increase in reverence for the Lord in 6 and 7. Only seven verses in this psalm, but it has opportunity to speak to our heart. So my prayer is, as we go through this and you listen and watch and read the scripture, that something will stick out to you that will bless you and that will cause you to come back and study this psalm on your own further and in more depth. So let's look at mercy and, and blessing. I use a lot of Hebrew I, in, and with the psalms, and to me that opens up windows of learning and windows of appreciation for Scripture and the Lord and the Bible. So let's get underway. I'll read the verse. God be merciful unto us and bless us and cause his face to shine upon us. Sort of sounds familiar in a prayer that we've heard before. Selah. All right. First of all, God is the Hebrew Elohim, and it's the plural form denoting Father, Son, the Holy Spirit. And El is the most basic name for God. And you see, we see that prefix in it, Elohim. So this is the plurality of God. God, be merciful. merciful. Merciful in the Hebrew means to be gracious or to show favor or to pity us. So it is someone who is in need that needs to have favor shown, love bestowed upon them. Be merciful unto us, bless us, and cause his face, the word face, to shine means to become light or bring joy upon us. Uh, let us know of your presence. And then it ends abruptly as a sentence in one thought with the musical instruction, Selah. And that's a musical rest. And generally it's thought that we are to pause. Everything stops. There's quietness in the concert hall or in the home or wherever this is being sung, and we're to think on verse 1 and what's just been said, and perhaps even discuss it shortly, and then begin the music again, verse 2. 
So here's praise and song, that your way or your journey or your, the direction may be known upon earth, that we could see God's path and God's direction. We have that in the Word of God. If we read the Word of God, we, got, we have God's plan for planet earth and for all mankind. Then as we walk with God, we find a specific plan for our lives and a journey that there are people that are come our direction that we minister to, but then there are people sent our way that help us. And uh, that we are involved in our own society and our own neighborhoods and our own church. It doesn't mean that we're responsible for the whole world. God's got the control of the world. Our job is to walk the way of God that is established in the word of God and read scripture, pray, and uh, just live Jesus Christ in our culture. And then your saving health. Uh, health means deliverance or salvation. Um, it doesn't mean get over a cold, but he's talking about that your way may be known upon the earth, that, that God's direction, that your word might be known, and your saving health or your deliverance or your salvation among the nations, that people would know of Jesus Christ, God's Son, who died on the cross for our sins, that he would, the world would know of, his, of God's salvation through Jesus Christ. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. The word praise means to laud or praise and, and just speak with joy, maybe shout with joy. And then people, it's talking about people of all lands. So in verse 2, it talked about nations. And it's again, it's talking about not just the country's nations, but people of those nations. Let them hear and let them know who God is. Oh, let the nations, once again, back to nations of countries of people, be glad or rejoice and sing for joy. Cry out in rejoicing. For you, God, shall judge or govern the people righteously. And the word righteous means from, an, uh, from a level place or an uprightness, that there's no partiality, that God will judge without favor for one group of people over another or one individual above all, that everyone is treated the same. And that's the kind of righteousness, that's the kind of judge we need, is someone that will judge from a level position and govern or lead or guide the nations upon this earth, Selah. Now, once again, there's Selah again, and we're to think of verses 2, 3, and 4. Let the people praise you, O God. Let all the people praise you. So verse 4 talks about the nations and talks about the people of the nations praising you, like verses 2 and 3 did. And then we end the psalm with two verses about increase in reverence. Then, okay, then, after we are praising God, after we understand who God is and the nations understand it, then shall the earth yield her increase, her produce. Then, God, then, then the earth, when we praise God, we, we do, cannot fathom how God can bless us, how the earth will bring forth God's produce and through our lives, we cannot fathom. And the further we get from God, the, the less we see the pro productivity of God in our world. And so we need, we need to focus upon God and, and a worldview through God's eyes. We don't need to look through it through theories and through philosophies and things that men think up. And then the psalm closes this way, God shall bless us and all the ends of the earth shall fear him. So when God's people start sharing Christ and living Jesus and the earth picks up on the praise of God, uh, it talks about the Lord, that the earth shall fear him. And the word fear here means generally fear, that we generally fear God, that we're afraid of God, that we're afraid to sin that we're afraid to disobey God. It also can be, it can also mean and mean dually to, to have reverence for God too, for who he is as, a, as in a position. That he is, a, he is God and he is a God of love, but he is a God of justice. 
and uh, he is a God of mercy, but he's also a God that doesn't let sin go unpunished. So I hope that this psalm will be a blessing and encouragement to you. Uh, we as individuals need to pray for the mercy of God upon our lives and for our world, for God's, for God's leading in our life to do what we should and walk a life of fear and reverence for our Lord. Father, thank you for this short psalm. Short ones can have great impact. So I pray you'd bless it to us today. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. And I hope you'll join us back for Psalm 68. And you can read it ahead of time if you're doing this weekly with us. God bless you.